Okay, so I'm going to share how I made my um, new coach profile welcome packet thingy. <laughs> so um, you're going to go here to more in your Canva profile once you sign in. And I used the U.S. letter, 8.5 by 11, over here in Documents. Okay, so I just kind of, they've got all these different um, layouts already created. So I chose this one because I really like it. And if you use Canva's photos, they're a dollar each. But if you use your own, it's free. So I just went over here to Uploads, um, and I chose, you know, just photos that I have. Um, I don't know, let's just use this one. Um, oops. Then I can bring it down and make it not black and white. Okay. Um, I don't even remember what I did here. <laughs> oh yeah, the welcome new coach. Okay, so I really like this type, this uh, font. So I just went welcome. Change the size. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, I moved the photo to the other side. Um, you can flip to where you're looking the other direction, which I think is kind of cool. Cool. And then we can just delete uh, delete this photo. You, sir, truly are Mr. Incredible. You know, I was okay, and then you can just write whatever you want in here, like, um, I don't know, so glad you joined us. <laughs> it's really up to you what you write on your welcome packet. Um, what else do I here? Oh, yeah, I called it a coach profile. Anyway, you can just write whatever you want in there. You can change the font to whatever you want. I, um, I suggest for branding yourself, you pick about three to four different kinds of font and stick to those. Um, so code is one that I use a lot. So we'll use that one. We'll delete this guy over here. Okay, and you can add another photo and do this colon. As long as you're using your own photos, um, it's not going to charge you anything. Cool. Um, so, to keep something like this all together, you just use this little guy right here just to make a new one. Sorry, I have a new page. And then it's totally blank. So I think I just did some font. You can just choose any kind of font you want. Um, they have these little fun things, but I usually just use one of these and then just type out whatever I'm going to type out. Um, and you can move it around. Yay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so. There's that type, super exciting. Um, over here at Elements, to get that really cool triangle looking effect I used, I went to Frames, and it's right here. So you just add the frames. You can change the color. I didn't really like pink, so I went to black and then just made it a very light gray. 
Um, and again, go to uploads to use your own photo. We'll use this one again. Cool, so you have that going on. And then you can do your type of whatever you need to type out and stuff. Um, if you want to use some kind of special background, they've got some backgrounds here. They've got different colors, different textures. But again, if you use one of their stuff, like it's gonna cost, unless it has this little free button, each of these are a dollar. Um, let's see here, what else should I show you guys? Uh, sometimes I use lines just to get a fun effect. So if I'm writing something and I want to kind of separate it, I'll use one of those. I don't know. I don't like that. Anyway, you can move stuff around. It's pretty neat. And when you download it, it'll all, you can use PDF standard and it all comes together in one file, so it's really simple. Um, I'm not sure that I used any el anything else different. Let's see. Yeah, most of it is just a lot of text that I did. That again is text. Oh, here's the line. I used a line. Okay, I'll show you how to do that. So. We're just into element and line. And then it's this one right here. So we'll change the color. And then you can make it sort of small because that's how thin it's going to be. And then just elongate it. Flip it. And then you have a line to kind of you know, just add a little something extra to your text. It just looks kind of cool. And that's about it. I mean, there's so much, so much here. Um, if you want something specific, like say, I don't know, you want, you want dots. You can look up dots and they have some free dots and then they'll have ones that you have to pay for. Look at this, even picture dots. Um, I use this one a lot because I think it's kind of fun. And again, you can just change the color and use whatever color you want. You can flip it around. All that kind of fun stuff. So there you have it, ladies and gents. <laughs> pretty fun, pretty fun stuff. And again, if you wanted to use something like paid, like you don't have an image that you're, you're thinking of, I don't know, maybe you want to do something Christmas specific. You look up Christmas. They have some free elements that are kind of cheesy looking, but they have some really, really awesome photographs, um, like stock images, but they don't look so stocky. They're actually really nice. So you can use some of theirs. And again, it's a dollar each time you use one. So um, that's it. That's how I did it.